I have got some shoe drama. What is going down, my people? Welcome back to the channel. This channel, if you're wondering and if you just found me for the first time, I do a lot of backpacking videos. A lot of the gear associated with backpacking. I do some bike packing stuff, gear reviews. So if that's the kind of thing you're into, you have found your people. I have had some shoe drama and I dropped a couple of two minute clips about this. Yeah, so at the time, I was kind of pissed off. I ordered some shoes. They were $160 shoes. Now I realize the fact that I'm able to buy a pair of shoes that expensive means I'm not doing so bad in life, but it doesn't matter. It's still a good chunk of money. So when I returned them and the guy didn't do his job, I was pissed. So I made some rant videos about it and that's what they were. As a whole, shipping companies, they deliver most of their stuff on time. They usually follow the protocols, but every once in a while when they don't, it pisses me off. I'm sorry, that's just all there is to it. Let's move on from that crap. Shoes. Shoes have been a big thing for me as of late. These have been my shoes for the last couple of seasons. These are the Ultra Lone Peak 5s. And these, they're great shoes. They really are. But I have found with ultras, my feet tend to hurt after about the 12 mile mark in every pair I've had from ultra. Let's kick it back to the beginning when I first started backpacking. I started out with hiking boots. A lot of people start out with boots just like this, whether they're mids like this or even low tops or hiking shoes. These are the Keen Durand. These are actually my second pair. I love them for shoulder seasons, meaning early spring, late fall, like early snow kind of thing, because they're waterproof, they are heavy, but these things are solid. These things are built like tanks, and they're heavy. Let's get a quick weight on them, shall we? Just the shoes, for those of you who care, or just the boots, for those of you who care. These things are two pounds, 15 ounces. And if you want the conversion rate, 1,322 grams. That's a lot. That's a lot of weight that you're picking up with every single step, and it does make a difference. I will say with dedicated hiking boots like this, if you're carrying a heavy pack, like, like a 30, 40, 50 pound backpack, you need footwear like this to support your feet and ankles and to bear that weight. Fast forward to looking at lighter weight options for backpacking. My backpacking gear, my systems have been streamlined, things are starting to get lighter, starting to get more compact, and my pack has been getting lighter. So now I don't need shoes quite this overbuilt. So I started looking at different options and Ultra kept popping up as an amazing shoe for backpacking. My very first pair were the Ultra Lone Peak 4s. I did a little review on those, you can check those out there. Those have since died the second pair of Ultras that I ordered were a little bit different. These are the Ultra Temp 2. It's got a fatter cushion on it. It's got like a 28 millimeter stack. The Lone Peaks have a 25 millimeter stack. If you don't know what that means, that just means how thick this is. It's measured in millimeters. So these had a lot more cushion. The features were a little bit different, but they were a comfortable shoe. But even with these, my feet still got sore right around that 12, 15 mile mark. And these, just to let you know, are considered zero drop shoes. There's a lot of people who swear by zero drops. If you wanna know what zero drops mean, when you have a typical shoe or a boot, the heel cushion is usually higher than the forefoot, meaning there's a drop in cushion from the heel to the toe. Ultras are zero drop, meaning it's the same cushion width the whole way around. So you're basically walking on a flat piece of foam. That's supposed to help with your stride and gait and help strengthen your feet, all that kind of stuff. Blah, 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 blah. It was fine. Does it make that big of a difference? I really haven't noticed. So these worked out okay. I got hella blisters in these the first time I wore them, but they blew out. Like ultras blow out. They're very expensive shoes, lightweight. They drain really well as far as water and things like that, but they're not, they're not very durable. So I probably had these for two years. And yeah, they are blown out. These have to go in the garbage very, very soon and they can jo join my Lone Peak Force. So the last two years, I decided to get back on the Lone Peak train, still with Ultra, and I went with the Lone Peak 5s. 
Now they've updated, you know, some of the outer materials, the way it drains, but essentially it's the same shoe. The stack height is still that 25 millimeter. Very, very light. If you're wondering what the weight on the Lone Peaks are, we'll take a look at that too. The Lone Peak 5s in a size nine and a half actually. One pound, six ounces for the pair. And as far as grams go, 676 grams. So very, very light. These are much nicer to lift with every single step. And yeah, let's get a weight on the temps just while we're at it. The temp twos are one pound, four ounces, which is 572 grams. So very, very lightweight options, especially for lighter weight packs when you're not carrying a lot of stuff. So these have been okay. The grip is good. The lightweight nature is good. The drainage is good because I walk right through rivers and right through puddles. Um, but I've had a lot of foot pain with these, especially at the end of last season and into this season, like to a point where like it really affected my trip. I was in South Dakota recently and these shoes killed my feet. They destroyed my feet and I needed something new. So after all the drama and ordering new shoes, because I did a lot of research on new shoes, because I wanted to try something different than the Ultras, I decided on a pair. I had to order them directly from the website because they had the color I wanted. I ordered a size too small. I thought maybe a nine and a half. No, I needed a 10. Went to return them. That's when they were lost and I got pissed. Finally got them and I finally got the pair back and they are here. And I haven't told anyone what these are. And I've got a lot of suggestions from you out there recommending shoes. And I thank you for that. And the number one recommendation for me have been Hoka's. Yeah, a lot of you have already guessed this, but which Hoka's? Yeah, Speed Goat 5s. So there's five iterations of this shoe. This is the latest one. Truth be told, I've already had these out a little bit. I did a little weekend, a little day hikes and they're pretty nice so far, but these are the Speed Goat 5s, and I got this green color with yellow accents. I didn't like the blaze orange yellow that they have everywhere in the stores. I wanted something a little bit more subdued, but these, on my first few miles, have felt great. It's got a big cushion, like, like 38 millimeter stack height and then like 28 or something in the toe. So there's a lot of cush on here. So these are not a zero drop, but they are supposed to have good drainage. Obviously really, really good footbed. The support is supposed to be pretty good. Let's get a weight on these guys to see how they stack up. One pound, five ounces, 591 grams. So they are on par with all these ultra shoes. Completely different feel. It's got a Vibram. Uh, sole, so very, very grippy. So these are gonna be my shoes for the rest of the summer and into this fall and probably next year too. Uh, if these things fall apart or piss me off, I will definitely let you know. Do you have experience with these kinds of shoes? What are your experiences with ultras so far? The complaint I guess I have is I'm, I'm pretty heavy. I'm about 210 pounds. My, whack, my pack weighs about 25, you know, so that's like 230, 240 pounds I'm putting on these lightweight shoes. So I'm hoping the extra cush on these is gonna do it for me. That's what I have, that's my shoe journey, and this is where I'm at. I'm so stoked to get these out on an actual backpacking trip, and I hope that comes sooner rather than later. Questions, comments, concerns? Leave them down in the comment area below. If you wanna get a hold of me, you can reach me at rpelton1yt at gmail.com, contact in the description down below as well. Drop me a line. Are there things that you would like me to talk about? Are there subjects you want me to go over? Do you want my opinions on stuff? Leave those questions, leave those comments down below. I would love to get some ideas on what you're interested in me talking about. Anyways, I'll get out of you here. Subscribe, like, share, all that fun stuff. Get out on the trail. There's a big, beautiful world out there. Let's see as much of it as possible.